the Raiders are at it again, this time adding a superstar in the scouting department. That's Sean Herrick. We're going to discuss it. We're going to get into it. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Sanjeev, back at it with another video. Uh, Ian Rappaport reported that the Raiders are adding a familiar and a respected voice to their scouting department. Sean Herrick will be joined as a personnel advisor. He's a former Raiders exec, and he's back to what he does, which is pro and college scouting, this time under GM Dave Ziegler. You know, what's interesting is since Josh McDaniels and Dave Ziegler have came in, they've done a tremendous job uh, from the front office hires to the coaching staff additions to the direction of this team and kind of how they want to go forward with the roster. Uh, it seems like uh, this this unit right now is really headed in the right direction. And I think Mark Davis could not have done a better job. Now, Sean Herrick is coming into the Raiders. He will help with the scouting. Uh, and I know a lot of people may say it doesn't really impact the Raiders in, in terms of scouting. Uh, but indirectly, especially over the course of the long run, this is going to be a big hire for the Raiders. Uh, I, I've heard so many great things about Sean Herrick. He's been in the league since the, the early 1990s. Uh, he came in as a scouting intern for the Falcons. Uh, he went on to the Packers a couple seasons later. And he spent 18 years there with the Packers. He met Reggie McKenzie while he was with the Packers. And when Reggie McKenzie took over the Raiders job in 2012, uh, Reggie McKenzie brought over Sean Herrick as the director of college scouting. That's how highly Reggie McKenzie thought of Herrick. And think about this. The Raiders best draft maybe in, in, in history 2014 was under Sean Herrick as the Raiders director of college scouting. Here's the thing. Uh, it wasn't just Cleo Mack and Derek Carr that we took in 2014. There were so many great players that came out of that draft. And, and I shouldn't even say great players, just really good football players. Guys like Gabe Jackson, who had a tremendous career, uh, still in the league, right? As well as guys like Justin Ellis, who's still in the league, TJ Carey, uh, Shelby Harris, and even Danico Autry, who we picked up as an undrafted free agent. These guys are all great football players, or at least they're very productive players. When three to four years is the average player's uh, length, NFL career length, and these guys are in the league seven, eight, nine years later, uh, that's that's what you call a good draft. And Sean Herrick was one of the guys that helped put that draft together. Now, obviously, uh, you know, we also were able to get guys like Amari Cooper, Mario Edwards, John Flintiano uh, a couple seasons later. And then more recently, he was with the Cleveland Browns. Uh, 2019, he was an assistant. And in 2020, he became the national scout. He became the go-to guy. Uh, and the Browns did a pretty good job in, in 2020 and 2021 uh, drafting. Right? They got guys like Jedrick Wilson and Greg Newsome and Jeremiah Wilson-Cormier, Grant Delpit. Uh, they did a pretty solid job. And a lot of that could be attributed to Sean Herrick. Now, obviously, you know Dave Ziegler will be the guy for the Raiders. That's not going to change. But the fact that we're having these guys that have so much experience uh, coming to the Raiders, it's, in my opinion, it's, it's the right way to go forward. Uh, I, I love the fact that with our coaching staff, we have guys that are former players. We have young coaches. We have uh, guys that can relate to players. And then in the front office, we have guys like Dave Ziegler and, and Sean Herrick, uh, among some other guys, right? Guys that have experience. Um, uh, you know, Jim Nagy kind of uh, commented, you guys can see, he said another great uh, ad by Dave Ziegler. Raiders have added over 50 years of NFL experience now between Herrick and Andy uh, Dangler. The Raiders have really done a good job, and I'm excited to kind of see where we're headed. Uh, but I will say this, the first task that's coming up is going to be this, this, this free agency in less than a month at this point. The Raiders have a ton of free agents, guys like Casey Hayward. Uh, guys uh, that we're going to have to think about extending like Max Crosby and Hunter Renfro, right? These guys are entering their final final year. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what our, our front office decides to do. How are we going to handle the cap? How are we going to do all these different things? And that's coming up in less than a month. And then we'll have free agency or, or act free agents who have draft. And we'll have to see how these guys handle the draft. What type of players are they getting, right? Uh, but I will say this, with guys like Dave Ziegler and Sean Herrick, it seems like they know what they're doing. They know what they're talking about. Uh, and even if you look at their past, right? The, the uh, One of the indicators of future success is what someone's done in the past. And these guys have been successful in the past. The New England Patriots have been very successful. Uh, Sean Herrick, when he was with the Raiders, had some good picks. And obviously there were some bad picks, but a lot of really good picks right even Colton Miller technically Herrick was here when Colton Miller was was taken right uh, and then even then when he went to the Browns the Browns had a lot of really good picks and you can put a lot of that to a guy like Herrick um, but the Raiders have done a great job and I'm really excited to see kind of how they handle the upcoming draft 
at the 22nd overall pick isn't the highest pick but you know don't be surprised if you could still get a superstar with the 20 se 22nd overall pick uh, i'm excited to see what the raiders do man let me know what you guys think hit that thumbs up button smash that subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time with another video